Hi, I've got something to show you. It's a free program by Astro AF that can add diffraction spikes to images. I'll show you how to get it working on Windows. Welcome to Deep Sky Detail. So I've been doing some testing for Doug from Astro AF. He created a free Python script that can add diffraction spikes to your images. He's a really nice guy. The program isn't perfected yet, and Doug has made the source code public. I'm fairly confident that he is open to collaborating with anyone who would like to help him improve the program. Check out his YouTube to contact him. Link to his video is pinned in the comments. Generally, I like diffraction spikes, but with my refractor, and, and also with my Schmidt Cassegrain, I don't get them. There are a couple ways around this. In my opinion, the most effective way is to just take some wire and put it over your objective lens. Then you'll get real ones that way. But what if you've already taken your images or you don't wanna worry about the diffraction spikes shifting relative to your objective lens, ruining your stacking? There is software out there that can do it already but there are few options for Mac and few free options. This video isn't going to review the program because as I understand it, it is still in development. For example, there are some false positives where brighter parts of the DSO get treated as stars. This can be masked out in GIMP if needed, but this video is more of a how can I install it on Windows type video. You can then check out the software for yourself and if you have experience with Python, Doug has told me that contributors are invited and welcome to make pull requests. I do think it is a very cool program from what I've seen though. It works well most of the time and it's free. I like free. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is head over to python.org slash download and download Python if you haven't already. When you install it, make sure add python.exe to path and use administrator privileges as checked. Go ahead and install Python. Then head to Doug's GitHub page, the link is also pinned, and download the zip file by clicking on the green code button and clicking download zip under the local tab. Unzip the folder and place it somewhere that's easy to find. Mine is in a subfolder within my download folder. Okay, so if you already have a couple Python packages installed, you can go ahead and just double click the AF Diffraction Spikes GUI.py Python script here. It will open the program. I suspect though, that if you've never installed Python before, you'll need to do one more step. Open the command prompt in Windows. You may have to run as an administrator just to be safe. Just put CMD in the search bar, right click and run with administrator privileges. I'm going to change the directory of the folder to the Diffraction Spikes folder that I downloaded to, but you don't have to. Just type pip install opencv-python and press enter. As you can see, I have it already installed, but if you don't have it installed, it might take a few seconds to download and install everything. Then type pip install pillow and press enter. Again, I already have it installed. Because I've changed the directory to where the Diffraction Spikes Python script is, I can just type Python and then af diffraction spikes gui.py and the script will run. But you don't have to do that. You should now be able to just double click the script in the folder that you downloaded it to and it will run. Or you can right click the script and click open. It's that easy. When the window pops up, you'll need to select an image in TIFF format by clicking the first browse button. I'll select an image of Messier 16 I took this year. Next, and this is important, the program won't do anything unless you do this. Select the name and location of the output file. Click the second browse button, and I'm going to select the same folder that my Messier 16 image is in, and then I'm going to name it with diffractionspikes.tiff. In the middle are a few parameters Doug created to manipulate the diffraction spikes. They're pretty intuitive, so I won't go over them here, but Doug did a good job explaining them in his video. Check it out and give him a sub if you haven't. Here are some parameters Doug gave me that seem to work well on a lot of my images. I'll just reuse them and then click process and generate images. Once I do, the image will be saved in the location we specified earlier. Overall, it does a pretty good job. There are some false positives and it's not quite perfect yet, 
but I expect Doug will keep improving the program. And if you would like to collaborate with him, feel free. Check his channel out. And thanks for watching.